in this video I'm going to be looking at a more advanced control uh, which is the calendar control I'm sure that uh, you've used calendar control on, um, on, on the internet before so uh, Visual Studio or Visual Web Developer include a, a very nice calendar control that you can use w within your application so let's see how the calendar control works uh, <coughs> by default calendar control <sighs> looks pretty neat but uh, if you want to style it to make it look more nicer uh, if you go to the property windows and you can see that uh, you can modify a lot of options a uh, lot of options we have the day header style the day style the next previous style other month day style and so on and so let's modify the title let's change the back color to uh you know my you know my color <laughs> so that's the title we've modified the color as you can see so um another thing if if you, if we run this calendar control now you can see that uh, at the moment um the we can select dates right now um uh okay how do we select let me show you uh, a quick way to display the selected date so if I had a label uh, if I ha if I had a label I can easily see what days that I've selected so um, let me modify the um, event of the wind so if I go to the calendar events let's see the events that are supported uh, we have the select selection changed event day render event the day render fires as a day is being rendered fires as a day is being rendered we have the selection change which fires when selection is changed by the user and we have the visible month is changed uh, visible month is changes when you click on this next month you see this arrow this greater than if you click on it, it's go to January so that's when the visible month is changed so that's when the event is fired so let's uh, use this selection changed uh, to code our label we can say label one dot text equals to uh, calendar one dot um, selected date selected date we want the particular selected it dot to string because we remember we have to convert it to a string so um okay so now if we select the month i mean if we select any day in our calendar we should be able to see displayed um you see oh, i selected the 23 of december that's why it sh shows us 23 of december 2008 so um um you can s change the selection mode which is a very important uh, things that you want to change if you select the calendar and uh, uh, change the selection mode to right you see we can only right now on our calendar we can only select the days so if you want to be able to select the week so you select the week which means you can select both the days and the week so let's see how that works um, as you can see a new arrows has been added to this place which means you can select this entire week and uh, because our label doesn't know how to display that so there's a way we can get around that if I had uh, a bullet list let me add a bullet list to display bullet list bullet list okay so we can add a bullet list and uh, bind it to the calendar table so let's do that so uh, if we go back to our method which we use we can this is where we can change the calendar to display so we can say um, bullet list one dot data source we want the t data source to be the equals to calendar one dot uh, selected dates plural we want the selected dates to be the data source so 
now we bind that we bind our that dot data bind so so, so what we're doing here is saying the selected dates on the calendar should be the data source that's where our bullet list one should get its data from then we bind uh, the bullet one to to it so let's run that and see how that is how that works so if I select the entire week if I select the entire week you see we get all the list I select from the 21st to the 27th of December so um, uh, let's see the other options and other options that you can set on the calendar I'll show you go back to the design view if you select it we have other options that you might want to enable uh, and uh, say uh, calendar come on calendar right you can modify the next month text so this this is the arrow this arrow you can modify let's let's change it to one two three so you see that's what it's show, going to show us the next month text now and uh, what is it okay we can modify the next previous format you can change you can change it to uh, short month so it's going to show November and January here instead of uh, this symbol or uh, you, you can modify the you can show the grid line let's show the grid line can you see it shows the grid line now and uh, show next month next previous month true or false if you set it to true or false we will not see the previous and the next month so let's set that back to true what else show title uh, if you want to show title true or false now the title is gone so the title format you can set it to the month year or just the month right now it's just December instead of December 2008 so uh, you get the idea it's a lot of options to modify here so um, how is this useful so let's say uh, we have select let's put a label and the label says uh, select day so if you put a uh, text box right so we want the selected data to be populated in there so we can go to the source code and say uh, where's that text box one dot text equals the calendar one dot selected date so you get the idea so you can use that to tell people to no sorry selected date that to string uh, <coughs> so um, so if I select that day now I get that day here but you can't format this one not to display this 12 o'clock there is something they call text format string uh, it's a method that you can use to configure just to show this date uh, let me show you quickly for the bullet list if I go back to my application uh, and I go to the design view this there is a property called uh, come on it takes so long bullet list and um, there is a property called date data text format string so it gives an give an exa example here so if I say um, now let's run our application so if you select an entire week you can see that the uh, time has disappeared just the date so there is, that's the method so uh, I hope you've learned something about the calendar if you want to know more and um, the calendar also can be used to display events just like you use a normal calendar in the real world so you combine a calendar to a database so you can extract information from the database and show the information so that whenever you select a date you can see the maybe your to-do list for the particular day that you've selected so 
uh, in the near future when we're doing the advanced video series I'm going to be showing you how to connect your calendar to the database to pull out information and display on your page thank you